Hey guys, it's Kayla Shay coming at you today with another video. And I have another Ask Kayla Shay today. Um, I'm actually loving how you guys are responding to this Ask Kayla Shay column on my channel. It's really turning into what I thought it would be. Um, a lot of you guys are sending, it, sending them in and I'm just getting them rapidly. So, uh, thanks for all the support. Please continue to support. Please continue to, to subscribe. And, um... Yeah, let's get into this video. This Ask Kayla Shay is basically how to know that a guy likes you over takes. Or like, how can you tell if a guy likes you over takes? And basically the question was asking, um, how, do, how would you know if a guy likes you over takes? And uh, she was saying that she hasn't been in a, in a relationship in a long time. And she basically felt like she wasn't girlfriend material because of her last relationship. Because she got cheated on and et cetera, et cetera. So this is kind of like two topics in one but first off okay so when you're texting it's really hard to interpret because a lot of people may read your messages differently than you read there so when you're texting it's really hard to tell how someone feels because there's no emotion in text there's no facials in text like you can't really show emotion through text is basically what i'm saying so i mean it's really hard to tell like if you want to know someone likes you through text, or maybe you can kind of see that they flirt through text. They may send you certain types of emojis. They may send you certain, I don't know. <laughs> they may send you certain things that can give off hints that they like you. Like they may want to ask to take you out. They may want to ask to hang out with you. Um, they may want to just get to know you and those are the type of things that you can tell if someone likes you over text. Now if they're trying to do other things such as, you know, just kind of being dry, they really act as if they don't want to talk and you really can't get into the conversation with them through a text, then maybe they're not as into you as you may think. And sometimes you just have to flat out ask, like, just be bold and be like, so what's up? You know, like, do you like me or do you not? Like, what are, where are you trying to go with this? And that'll really just be your answer. So it's really not, you know, it's really hard to kind of tell or read people through text because everyone texts differently. You don't know, you know, you just don't know. But um, as far as you feeling like you're not girlfriend material or as far as you feeling like you can't be in a relationship because of your past uh do not let your past define your future um whatever happened in the past happened in the past if he cheated on you he wasn't worth having you because you're not gonna cheat on a jewel you're not gonna cheat on someone you want and basically he was just showing you his true colors and you just need to let that go there's nothing wrong with you i promise you there's nothing wrong with you and you can't just say that you're not girlfriend material because one relationship didn't work out i mean we're young and you're gonna go through several relationships or you know you may feel like you find that one and they may end up not being that one and yeah it may be discouraging but it may be discouraging but you can't let that define you know your relationships in the future so as far as you feeling like you're not girlfriend material and you said that you told this new guy that you're not girlfriend material it, it's kind of like you're downing yourself and you're not putting yourself in that place to actually be in the position that he may want you to be like he may actually like you but you can't see it because you're not wanting to see it you feel like you're not the things that he thinks you are maybe he compliments you and stuff like that but you're not able to accept it because you think about your past so i just feel like just let that old relationship go and you said it was four years ago so yeah definitely let that hurt go like four years ago you've grown you've matured and you're a beautiful woman like let it go he was not worth it i promise you like he doesn't define who you are now and he can't define who you will be in the future like do not uh -uh. that's what i'm saying like girls we we often feel the need to depend on others to basically not not um, sometimes as young women, we all, we often depend on, you know, boys to confirm our beauty or confirm our worth. But, you know, when you think about it, it's really just you yourself confirming it from within. So, um, your worth is determined from within. Your, your worth is determined from what you, what you, your worth is determined from how you feel, from how you know that you should be treated. 
And just because someone cheated on you, it's just because they had other motives from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because someone cheats on you does not mean you are any less than whoever he cheated on you with. Because you will soon find someone who will worship you and will love you for everything that you have to offer. So I promise you there's nothing wrong with you. You are girlfriend material. Go ahead and get into that new relationship or pursue that new guy. Like, if you think he likes you, just ask him. Or maybe just get into asking him. Kind of kind of try to read him outside of text. Maybe go out with him, hang out with him, and get to know him for him and not just over the phone. Do you get what I'm saying? And that'll really just give you your answer. Don't ever be afraid to just ask someone how they feel about you. I know it's nerve-wracking and, <sighs> Lord, like, you know, you just don't, you just don't ever want to get that sense of rejection or that, you know, that answer that you really don't want. But it's always good to know so you don't feel stuck in the same position or you're able to find confirmation within yourself. So maybe you guys can help each other. Like this new guy, he may be the one that, you know, helps you gain that confidence back and shows you that you are girlfriend material and doesn't treat you like the last. You just have to give people a chance. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm always dancing, y'all. Like, y'all really? I think I'm gonna do a dancing video. Please continue to send in your Ask Kayla Shays. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I just